Make this summer your time to shine with Big Soleil. All right, starting off the show with one of my favorite, favorite topics of all time. It's time for our self-care series, brought to you by Big Soleil. Now, the term me time is often glamorized as taking time out for self-pampering and all the spoils, of course, that come with it. But what does it actually mean to spend time and with by and with yourself. So, Renee um, Arane Rousseau, of course, has all the answers, which is why she returns to the couch this afternoon. So, oh, such a pleasure to have <laughs> you here again. Thank you. Thank we you love much. having you here. <laughs> so, there's a huge difference to be alone by yourself and lonely, but to be by yourself, mm -hmm. to take out mean time is so important. Now, I love mean time, but yes. what does it actually mean in a professional sense? Okay, so me time is all about doing something special for yourself. Yeah. It's allowing yourself time. Mm. It's prioritizing time for yourself. Yeah. For some reason, we have this idea that we haven't done enough, we're just not good enough for this me time. Yeah. And also, the strange thing is that me time's associated with fear. Mm -hmm. Fear of being alone. Mm -hmm. So it's really quite strange. You think like, if you said to someone go out to take me time, they'll be like, yay, me time. Yeah. And meantime, they immediately think, oh no, I need to be alone. Wow. I don't want to be alone. It amazes yeah. me how few people can be alone. It's so insane. It's weird. It's like, I love insane. time spent like, alone by, yourself. by myself. Mm. A lot of people, I think it has to do with loneliness. They assume yeah. that if I'm alone, it automatically means I'm lonely, but that's not necessarily the case. And now, you know, on social media, everyone is using the hashtag self care Sundays, hashtag me time. But you know, you actually, how much work does goes in to kind of isolating yourself, being alone and spending that time? Yo, there's a lot of work that you should be doing. Yeah. But in reality, I mean, how much time do we really have for me time, exactly. you know? So the idea is that you actually need to schedule it. Make sure you are prioritizing yourself because the benefits for it is unbelievable. I mean, you need to self-reflect to be able to succeed. You need to know about yourself. You need to understand yourself. And the way you're going to get there is through me time. Totally. We've been talking about self-esteem. Yeah. Perfect thing, me time, to encourage and develop your own self-esteem. But it actually goes even further. I honestly think that I could be the poster child for self-care <laughs> and me time. So what I do for my, uh, my me time is every single morning I put on my headphones and I listen to a podcast and I walk along the beach. I know it's a, it's yeah. a five kilometer walk there and back uh, to my house. And I know that it's just my, me time listening to a podcast. And funny enough, the podcast I was listening to this morning was about me time. <gasps> and what the doctor said, and this is what I want to ask you, is he said when you do take time with yourself, whether it's through just me time and through meditation, when you consider everything in your body, you can actually heal your organs yeah, by listening to so. your body Whoa. and breathing in a correct, like connecting with your organs. Like I think kidney was linked to stress. And so when you actually take me times, oh. you, you spend time we're, and kind of using that your brain like as a, as a, yeah. as a healing medicine exactly. of some sort. Exactly. Okay. It's giving yourself the opportunity to listen to what you are saying, what your yeah. body is saying. And as soon as you allow yourself to do that, you learn. Yeah. And what we do, we stuck on our cell phones, we're so busy with life, we're not giving ourselves the time we need. So he's perfectly right, or is she, sorry, whoever you were listening to, mm. he's perfectly right yeah. because once you allow yourself to listen to your body, you're going to know, actually, you know what, I'm not feeling so well. Yeah. But have you taken the time out to do that? Mm. I know I like to enjoy different levels of self-care for myself, whether mm. it's physical activity, whether it's spirituality, working on myself. And I know I'm dying to hear from our viewers at home mm. how you spend your me time. How do you become one with yourself, isolate yourself and feed the spirit that works so hard every single day? Tweet us, Facebook us, we want to hear from you. Um, a lot of people do have different methods, but doesn't matter what you do. Let's say it's meditation, for example. How does that enrich you as a person and make you just a better person all around. Yeah, well, with meditation, it's similar to what we've been saying. It's the fact that you're going to reflect on yourself. Okay. That the fact that you are going to focus on one specific thing through meditation is going to allow you to, to self-heal. Mm -hmm. um, but I want to just take meditation like a little bit step further and mm -hmm. say, you know, it's, it's, if you're not used to meditation, meditation is actually quite difficult to do. It you is. Know? Your, your brain is always buzzing. Yes, but there. I think people <laughs> meditate without them knowing that they're meditating. Ah, there we go. You've hit the nail on the head. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I wanted to say. It's like, don't <clears> stress yourself 
out about being there for 30 yeah. minutes to do the traditional meditation. Mm. You know, you can really find you're going to decide. You're going to go for your morning run, and you're going to have total quietness. Yeah, that's like you know, meditation. that's like a yoga meditation. Class is a meditation. Exactly, running on the treadmill. Yeah, you know, like just focus. Actually, I've got this. I'm feeling good. I'm energetic. Yeah. How am I feeling? Focus on yourself. Okay, just for some of our viewers at home who don't know how to take their own me time, like I know a lot of my friends with children, their me time is literally just locking the children out of the toilet. <laughs> And then they said, so actually, Joanne Just for those Strauss phoned me the other day. She was literally <laughs> sitting on the loo, not doing anything, but she was just sitting on the loo saying, I've just locked my children out of the toilet just to phone you and just, and just to chat. So what's up, girl? <laughs> They're not the so how else can people take me time? What do you recommend that people do just so that they still get that same value if they don't have the time to go for long walks and hikes and meditations? What I suggest you do is an exercise. The exercise is a little bit difficult. It's 50 things that make you happy, Wow. literally. So you're going to put down on a piece of paper, one to 50, five zero. Oh, five Ooh, zero. That's a lot. That make you happy. That's that. a lot. We better find 50 yeah, things that make us happy. It'll it's make it's us happier to consider the things that And reflecting on it, huh? Yeah. No. That's it. You've hit the nail on the head. <laughs> totally. So what you're going to do, let's say like you like getting, you like receiving flowers. So now you're thinking, yeah. okay, you're going to ask yourself, what do I need to do to unwind? And then you're going to think, I actually have no idea. But Somebody then you're going to go to your... buy me flowers. <laughs> I know. You <laughs> said shout out to everyone at home. <laughs> send us flowers. <laughs> but you know that if, some, if somebody doesn't buy you flowers, buy yourself flowers. I That's do, yes. it. I'm totally into mm. buying like self gifting. Absolutely. <laughs> the idea is that you're going to go to your, your the things that make you happy. The mm. 50 things. Yeah. Choose one, and you're going to go and do that for yourself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's so oh, beautiful. thank you so much for thank always you. teaching us how to be better people yeah. and to love ourselves more. You're such a gem. We love having <laughs> you here. Thank you very, very thank much. Thank you. Thank you very so much. So with all that said, it's crystal clear that nothing beats spending time with the most important person in your life, which is you. So right now, however, it's your time to shine, of course, with Big Soleil disposable razors. These are available at your local leading retailers nationwide. Mm -hmm. Now, after the break, we sit down with Uzinika Gwele from Next Brand Ambassador. I have to hear all the tea regarding <laughs> Next Brand Ambassador as the finale comes up, so don't miss out. <laughs>